three, right? So if you refer to the uh, to the team, so we have two folder that uh, that your friend mentioned. Eh? So we have one folder for BNNG one four one three. Another one is the BEKU 1243. Actually, the BEQ is the old version of the, the subject lah. Before this, known as the digital electronic and system. Okay, and then after uh, this subject will be broad based. Okay, so we uh, change to the BNNG 1413. Actually, this subject of also offer uh, for BEKG also. Eh? That's why. If you want, if for example, if you have a problem, okay, to take my class, also can you can join for another section. For example, like uh, Dr. Zaki, right? Another section for I think for section two, and also you can join for uh, BE uh, for BEKG class. I think the BEKG is a uh, Dr. Wahida. Alright, so the actually the owner of this subject is not uh, us. Is uh, from uh, Electronic Faculty, Faculty of Electronic, FEKK. So. That's why uh, this subject is uh, offered for this semester, lah. right? So the the owner of this subject is uh, from FPKK, lah. Our coordinator for this subject is the Dr. Anis Haila from FPKK. Alright, clear and class, guys, class. Alright, so but if you are refer to the both uh, notes, I think almost similar, lah. Okay, because uh, after we broke base of this subject, before this uh, we have a lot of topic we cover until until the system uh, digital system but after we broke base because of the not only us take this subject so i think this subject is broke base so we reduce the topic i will explain after this uh, we reduce the topics until chapter four okay uh, on the this actually on this uh, topic we have five chapter but normally uh, for the uh, finals okay for the midterm we just cover until the chapter four the chapter five just a uh, diy lah yourself you can read okay because of the chapter five is more on theoretical part okay so that's why we can finish early lah for this uh, uh, this uh, subject because we just only have four chapter okay we have four chapter to cover right for this subject lah okay before that uh, let me introduce myself all right so maybe some of you not know me all right so my name is a uh, Dr. Muhammad Shahri bin Muhammad Aras. Okay. Alright. So, this is my room number. I think, I'm not sure. So, uh, okay, you can see me. I think uh, Amar already see me. So, some of you not see me. Alright. So, now, actually, I'm currently, I'm the uh, head of mechatronic department. Okay. Alright. So, this is uh, my uh, email. All right, my email. If you have any problem, you can also email me or you can contact me lah. Okay, this is my hand, uh, handphone number. All right, so also you have, we have already have a WhatsApp group. So anything you can ask me lah, personal or you can WhatsApp to the group. Okay, eh? clear. Eh? If everything, uh, because I, uh, currently I'm the head of a mechatronic department. So everything uh, related to the academics or anything, you can also contact me personally lah using the WhatsApp or you can call me direct call me all right so and also we have the i have the uh, youtube channel this is my youtube channel normally after okay this is uh, where because of the covid so we uh, everything are already after the i already upload to my channel okay to youtube channel then you can for example if you, you cannot uh, attend for my class for example you have some another issue so also you can watch to my uh, my YouTube channel lah. Uh, so every week I will try to upload to my channel and then you can see, okay, our lecture, uh, okay, for the lecture for this uh, subject in YouTube lah. Okay, eh? and then, uh, okay, after this, you have to uh, like, subscribe and share. <laughs> Alright, Clive, so you can uh, subscribe my, my uh, YouTube channel and then because of after every every lecture i will upload the video and then uh, you can uh, view again maybe normally normally for the last semester the view will be increased when uh, we have the midterm test and or we have the final so you can uh, watch back the what's the what the, the what we are, are, are taught uh, i teach for this uh, for 
the the subject lah. For example, like for this subject, you can it, you can uh, watch back uh, my YouTube channel lah. Okay, my video for every topics. Okay. Alright, so this is a learning outcome for uh, this subject. Yeah, doctor. Right. Okay, so we have three learning outcome. Doctor. Okay. Yeah, yeah, yes. Um, slide tak gerak ah, doctor. Okay, slide tak gerak. Okay, so saya sedang bergerak. Boleh tak? Saya tak gerak juga eh? Tak. Okay, saya stop sharing first. Okay, wait eh. Uh, okay, kalau this one saya tak... View, open view, uh, set up, full view. Okay, boleh clear tak this one? Yes, Nampak tak? Now is clear. Boleh tak? Okay. okay, can eh? Alright, so, okay. Uh, okay, I straightforward go for the learning outcome. Okay, clear this one eh? If I not full view for this slide. Okay, so now uh, currently we are on the uh, learning outcome. Can you see eh? Learning outcome for our subject? Yes, Victor. Yes, okay. Yes. Alright, so you can see on this subject we have three learning outcome lah. I think you are know what is the learning outcome eh. That means learning outcome at the, at the end of this uh, subject you should be able to first you have to describe the number system, uh, basic concept and terminology of digital circuit that form complex electronic system lah. Okay, this is uh, relate to the PO number one eh. PO number one and also we have the working knowledge uh, number one, two, three and four. Okay, that is uh, for learning outcome number one. And learning outcome number two will be analyze the basic digital circuit based on the combination, combinational and sequential component. Lah. Okay, that is learning outcome number two, relate to PO number two. Lah. Okay, and number three will be communicate effectively through effective report writing or oral presentation. So normally on LO number three will be on our assignment. Lah. Okay, our assignment, we have to do the report writing lah. I think no oral presentation eh, because of the COVID. So we do the, we don't do the oral presentation, just a report writing lah. Okay. So that is for learning outcome number three. It will be related to the PO number nine. Okay. The PO, I think uh, some of you maybe not know. Okay. Not remember, I think. So so this is some uh, revise eh, for the PO, uh, the program outcome. So normally the PO number one will be more on engineering knowledge lah. Okay. For PO number two will be uh, problem analysis. Okay, number three will be design or development of solution. Okay, number four, this is keyword. Eh? I think we have a lot of, uh, we have the full sentence. Okay, full sentence for PO number one, PO number two, PO number three and so on until 12. So this is uh, just take the keyword lah for every PO, the main keyword for the uh, for every PO lah. For example, like PO number one, we focus on engineering knowledge. And then PO number two, we focus on the problem analysis lah, based on the subject, every subject lah. And then for number three, will be design and development of solution. Okay. Number four, investigation. Okay, you can see. So our PO will be PO number one is the working, uh, is the engineering knowledge. PO number two will be problem analysis, problem solving. All right. And then we have PO number nine lah. PO number nine. All right. So PO number five is the modern tool usage. And then PO number six engineer and society okay cyber is the environmental and sustainability and engineering and number eight is the engineering ethics and number nine you can see is the communication lah. so in our uh, subject we have three po lah, okay mapping on the our lo so we have po number one po number two and also po number nine lah. nine is the communication eh? uh, okay so on the and then actually we have also uh, individual and teamwork but we don't mapping on the subject lah. And then we have 11 is the lifelong uh, learning and number 12 is the entrepreneurship. Okay, this is some, uh, this is assessment, all right. So you can see this is assessment for this subject. We have, so you can see the quiz, I think uh, for this, may, I'm not sure. So maybe I'll, I'll try to do uh, more than one, uh, more than one quiz so that you can score. I just, maybe I take the best of one for example if you do three or four uh, tests uh, for the four quiz so maybe i just take one or two of the best uh, the best for the your quizzes uh, so that you can get the full mark for these quizzes eh, for the quiz assessment uh. 
right for five five percent so this one i will help you uh, to get the full marks okay for the five percent and then we have the midterm test okay the midterm test uh we before this we just we set the range okay from 15 to 20 percent but uh the new uh, coordinator for this uh bnng dr anis so we said okay for this semester the midterm test will be 20 percent okay 20 percent all right so then the our assignment or pbl normally before this we use the pbl but because of the COVID, so we we have to reduce the uh, PBL to the assignment, eh? Assignment. So the assignment around 15, eh? Around 15 percent, eh? Before this, we set 50 to 20 because of uh, our test we already set for 20. Then our uh, assignment will be 15, eh? Okay. So the final exam will be 60 percent. The total will be 100 percent, eh? Okay. So this is a uh, references that you can uh, Google, and then you can. I think. We also have the ebooks, uh, yeah? you can find the ebook for, for example, like Digital Fundamental, Thomas L. Farid. You can see the ebooks for these uh, topics. And also, we have, if you have, uh, I'm not sure, uh, if you have it in UTEM, you can buy this book eh, for book number three. All right, so this is Fundamental of Digital System. Okay, this is uh, it's a module. Normally, we use this module uh, as a references, but if, because of the online, I think. Uh, uh, because this book you can uh, you can see on the on the corporacy yeah because of uh, covid so maybe you can try to uh, find the ebook for for example like uh, reference number 1 or reference number 2 lah normally i refer to the reference number 1 eh thomas l fire okay digital fundamentals okay so you can refer this book also lah i think uh, nowadays a lot of ebooks lah related for this uh, subject that you can uh, apa, download eh you can download to the Google's okay as your references okay all right so this is a uh, the content for this subject eh so you can see this one okay for BEKU normally we have I think nine chapter okay nine chapter before uh, before the subject will be broad based okay so after broad based we reduce to five chapter lah, as you can see this one eh so chapter one will be introduction concept okay so i will after this i will uh, go for the introduction concept what is the digital what is the uh, analog okay what is the advantages of the digital and what is the disadvantages of uh, anal uh is the digitals okay and then number system and codes okay this is for chapter one okay for chapter two will be logic gates and the bullet algebra Okay, chapter 3 will be combinational logic circuits. Okay, chapter 4 will be latch and flip flops. And then chapter 5 will be integrated circuit technology. So that I mentioned to you. So our final or midterm just cover until chapter 4. Okay, normally for the midterm, maybe around cover until uh, chapter 1, until chapter 3. Okay, for the midterm test lah. Right, maybe some part of the chapter 3, not all the chapter 3 lah. Okay, maybe around chapter 1 until chapter 3, part 1, for example. And then the rest will be covered for the final until chapter 4. Okay, so chapter 5, no in, uh, no in the final exam or no in the midterm test. So, uh, so normally the chapter 5 will be uh, DIY, okay, do it yourself. And then maybe if you have time, so I will explain, uh, I will go for, go through the, for the surface for the chapter 5, like, because chapter 5 is more on the, integrated circuit technology that this subject will be of uh, will be uh, explain detail on the this topic will be explain detail on the subject uh, digital system okay that offer for be uh, for fkkk student uh, not for us lah not for uh, fke fke we just only take the digital electronics okay and then because this subject is more on uh, system okay but not offer for us just offer for uh, fkkk student lah uh, Right, so that's all for introduction. Right, any questions so far? Boleh eh? Can? Okay, no, class. Thank you. Thank all right. You. Okay, so after this, I will go for chapter one eh? We go for the chapter one. All right, for the introductory concept. Okay, what is the digital? What is the analogs? Okay. <coughs>
Okay, I will take attendance now. Eh? So hopefully you all of you have in this okay, in this uh, room. In this. All right, so can you see the slide for chapter one? Yes, Doctor. Okay, I, I will try full view eh, because I want to uh, I want to draw or write something eh, in the slide. So I will try full okay full view. If you, uh, this slide is not uh, moving, uh, mention uh, mention to me eh, right? Okay. Right, so this is chapter one for the introduction concept. Okay, that I mentioned to you, introduction concept is the just a uh, fundamental of what is the uh, digital, okay? What is the analog? So before we go for digital, we have to know what is the analog, okay? And then what is the advantages of uh, digital, okay? What is the application of the digital, the type of uh, digital and so on. This is will be covered for the introduction concept. Okay, so learning outcome for this topic. At the end of this uh, topic, you should be able to to describe the basic concept of digital and analog system. Okay, and then you can differentiate okay between the digital and analogs. Okay, what is this, uh, what is the digital, right? And what is the analogs? So that mentioned okay. So the normally. All the world we use the analog. Okay, we deal with analog quantity. For example, like time, frequency, voltage, power. Normally, we deal with analog, lah. Right. So, and then uh, LO number three will be identified the binary digit. Okay, the binary. That means we have the two. Okay, the either is a one or zero. Okay, that's why we call the di binary digit. Okay, for digitals. Normally, we will be involved for zero or one. Ah. That is called the binary digits. And logic levels mm. and... Yeah, tak gerak? Ah? Ha, tak gerak. Oh, okay, okay. So, okay, okay, I will stop sharing. I will just use a... Okay, so if this one boleh eh? Nampak tak kalau not full view? Ah, nampak. Okay, so now is the learning outcome eh? I will try to to write something. Oh, okay. If not for you, I cannot write something. Now it's it's okay for you, eh? Yes, it's okay. It's okay. Alright. And then for learning outcome number four, we be identified the advantages and limitation of the digital technology. What is the dis disadvantages of digital technology, lah? Even uh, we have the advantages and also we have the limitation of the digital technology. Okay, so this is a uh, that I mentioned to you. So in science, technology, business, and other field, we constantly deal with quantity, lah. So that I mentioned to you is the normally all the world we use we deal normally we deal with uh, analogs. Okay, so normally the analog quantities, lah. So the quantities are measured. Okay, we can measure, we can monitor. Okay, we can record it. For example, the quantities like dimension two is like, like speed. Okay, we can measure the speed, we can monitor the speed, or we can record the speed, or we can, uh, for example, like another quantities like uh, uh, times. Okay, we can measure the time, we can monitor the times, we can record the times, or we can manipulate the arithmetically. Okay, we can observe that we call the quantity lah. Okay, so for example, like frequency. Okay, the voltage. That the quantity we can measure, we can monitor, we can record it, and we can manipulate. Okay, so two way to represent numerical value of quantity. Okay, is the analogs and digital that I mentioned to you. So normally all the world, eh? So normally all the world we uh, deal with the analogs. Okay, for example, like time. Okay, the frequency, the voltage, the power is the analog lah in the analog, analog signals. Okay. So what is the analogs? Okay, before we go for digital, you have to know what is the analog. So analog that you have to remember the keyword is the continuously signal or continuously waveform or continuously uh, data. Okay, that means the analog will be continuously 
signal lah. That is the keyword for analog. The the main keyword for analog is the continuously signal or continuously waveform. Okay, for digital is the discrete. Okay, discrete signal. Sometimes we call the step by step lah. Step by step. That we call the digital lah. Eh? Digital normally we repeat uh, as the discrete signal. Discrete mean uh, step by step lah. Step by step. That is the definition between the analogs and digital. Eh? So the analog is will be continuous signal, but for digital will be discrete signal. That means step by step signal. So after that, we show eh, the event, uh, the this the difference between the analog signals. Okay, so because of okay, I will okay for example. Okay, can you see this, uh, my scratch here? Yes, it's an okay. introduction. Okay, introduction. Eh? Alright, so this is analog. Eh? For example, the uh, dimension 2 is the continuously signal. Lah. Continuous. Eh? Continuously signal. You can see the signal here. So, it will be continuous. Or something like this. <laughs> tak nampak agak, eh? The uh, Android uh, here. Uh, no, uh, I'm, I'm not seeing, I just see uh, the introduction, uh, the first thing I think, it's introduction. Oh, only the introduction. So, no drawing here. I already drawing the, the waveform. You cannot no, see the no. drawing? It's on the next no, slide, no. Doctor. Oh. Okay, this one, drawing. You can see my drawing? No. No, not yet. Okay, okay I will stop sharing. Uh, Okay, I'm not sure why M team have a problem. Normally, it's, uh, it's okay. I can sh I'm not sure why this evening uh, the team problem. Eh? Alright, so. Okay, I just. Uh, okay, go for the uh, next slide. Is the analog. Lah. Okay, the analog. Eh? So, if not for you, I, can, I cannot write to this, uh, to this slide. Okay, so just I, uh, maybe you can. See this one, eh? This uh, slide, alright. So the analog quantities is represented by the voltage, okay, current, uh, meter movement. That is proportional to the value of the of that quantity, lah. That's mean, alright. You can see this one, eh? Uh, that's mean the analog is the continuously waveform or value that change smoothly over the time. That's mean, uh, the analog is the continuously signal over the times. Okay, that is the definition of analogs. Okay, you can see this keyword, eh? The main keyword for, uh, we check which one, the pen. Okay, so this is the dimension three. This is keyword uh, for analog, eh? Analog is the continuously signal or sometimes we, uh, we can declare as the continuously waveform uh, over the time. Right, as you can see the figure here, right, the figure here is the some example of analog lah, analog uh, speedometer, and also we have the, I think some of you have the analog watch. Okay, you can see your watch is analog or digital. Eh? So this one is the, is the analog example of analog eh, for measure the speed. Okay, for speed analog speedometer, and also we have the maybe we have the, uh, measure the frequency. Okay, to measure the. Uh, power the voltage okay in the analog lah right so this is some example of the analog uh, component or analog e equipment to measure the speed okay to measure the speed okay so the analog quantity have an important characteristic they can be very ov uh, over continuous range of value lah all right so this you can see this needle will be smooth eh? so will be increased smoothly if the automobile will be uh, we have the uh, we have increase of speed okay that is some example lah. If this one convert into the digital, so maybe you just display around, uh, for example, okay, 10 kilometer per hour, okay, 10 kilometer per hour, 20 kilometer per hour, okay, uh, or, uh, okay, 30 kilometer per hour, right? that is on digital, or depends on the, apa, the type of your digital lah, right? So this is some example of analogs, okay, analog uh, equipment, okay, analog uh, sensor that, this one will be measure the speed. Okay, so this is and uh, before this I mentioned to you is uh, some example of analog waveform. Okay, you can see this one. Okay, this is a 
analog okay waveform for human speech you can see it's uh, very random okay depends on your frequency okay your voice if you're maybe you're uh, like me okay i'm uh, now i increase my voice so maybe the frequency will be higher okay for example and then another example like this one eh, you can see actually this is uh, uh, the dc form okay the this direct current actually so in ideal all right in ideal so if you uh, okay normally the ideal so will be straight line eh? so this is we call the ideal for example like for direct current but when we are zoom or in reality so it's not uh, smooth like that okay so they have the some ripple here maybe you can, you can see this one eh? this, this is some example lah. all right so maybe i think maybe on the subject of the electric uh, principle of electric electronic you uh, study about the power supply eh? so on the power supply we have four main component okay so we have the transformer for component number one we have transformer that's mean from convert from uh, sorry uh, step down from 250 240 to maybe uh, six okay six volt right still ac to ac okay that is for example eh? for example for power supply then from six volt we have the rectifier okay rectifier from ac will be convert from ac to dc okay uh, that we we use the rectifier eh? the component we use the rectifier that convert from ac to dc lah. then we have the uh, filter okay that means we'll be filter the output for the from the rectifier okay the last component we have the regulator lah, to smooth the 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 output from the filter lah. that is the main component of the power supply okay that's why when you are uh, the, the ideal eh? for example the ideal suppose is a five if this one is the six volt okay it's a, suppose it's a constantly six volt here but when you are measure i think maybe you can measure using the digital okay digital uh multimeter uh, it's not constant six volt maybe around 6.1 or 5.9 and then will be changed to 6.1 or 6.2 and then will be reduced to six uh, five point nine or something like that it's not constantly six volts okay because of the uh because of the depends on the quality of the power supply that's why if you are if you are remember your uh, charger eh, for example like our charger okay so on the if your original maybe the price around uh fifty dollar okay maybe around thirty dollar it's the original charger but you can buy the cheaper one maybe around ten dollar or five dollar okay for example but if you see the component they put they're missing uh, maybe some of the component for example they're missing on the regulator okay that's why your battery is uh easy to uh broken okay because of the the signal okay the output from the power uh, from the charger is not smooth like we uh smooth like the original one eh? right so that that's why um that's why yeah, the power supply will be can cheaper compared than original because maybe some of the component for example if you see maybe almost copy uh, copy copy 100% uh, original but maybe some of the component inside the for example like regulator they reduce the component because they want to reduce the price okay so you can see another one is the analog waveform of the image okay you can see this is for example like x-ray eh? x-ray image so maybe you can see like this this we, we call the analog waveform of image all right so we go for the digital eh? so that i mentioned to you what is the digital so before digital is the discrete signal okay over the time okay the discrete means step by step lah. okay why do we need digitals okay because of when we want electronic machines such as a computer to manipulate and analog information it can be uh, it can only be done if the information is converted into digital because nowadays most of the component most of the electronic system most of the system deal with digitals okay so that's why we have to convert okay we have to, uh, before that i mentioned to you all the will deep with, with analog so that's why we need some converter to convert from analog to digital that we call the a d c okay uh, right here a d c eh? so a stand for analog d uh, digital this means a analog convert to digital 
converter. Okay, ADC. Okay, that is for analog to digital converter. And then from digital to analog, we have the DAC. That means from digital to analog converter. Okay, there is two comp main component on the digital that you have to know. Lah. One from convert from analog to digital, and another one from an uh, digital to analog. Okay, that you have to remember. Lah. We have for this subject, we have two types of the converter. One we call the ADC. ADC stands for analog to digital uh, converter, and another one is the DAC. Okay, DAC stands for digital to analog converter. Okay. So much easier for computer or electronic machine to interpret, communicate, store, and manipulate the uh, data, lah. Okay, because of the that mentioned to you now, they uh, all the system they use the digital, eh? use the digital because of reduce uh, reduce the cost. Okay, because the analog is very expensive, lah. So maybe they use the digital because of to reduce the cost. Okay, that's why uh, all the analog we have to convert into digital, lah. Okay, for example, like my previous, okay, my previous research, okay, I, I buy the IMU, eh? IMU is we call the initial measurement unit, that this uh, sensor is to measure the movement of the robot, for example, eh? IMU, before this, I use the uh, analog, okay, I use the analog, the price is around uh, 100 something, okay, and then only 3 degree of freedom, okay, the movement for this sensor only allow for 3 degree of freedom, lah, for example, nowadays, uh, student can, for example, my student buy the IMU, I think around 20 ringgit, around 20 ringgit, but the degree of freedom is up to 9 degree of freedom. That means uh, this robot can, we can monitor the robot move 9 degree of freedom. That means we have 6 degree of freedom for the movement of the robot and another 3 will be covered for the uh, digital compass. That is uh, nowadays technology. So before this, uh, the size using the analog will be bigger. And then go for the digital, the size will be reduced. Okay, very small, small size. For example, for the sensor. Lah. Okay, so this is a digital representation. Uh, representation. The quantities are represented by the symbol of digit. Okay, so normally for digital, we have two digit. Okay, digit one or digit zero. Lah. This one, okay. That's why we call the binary, okay? Binary, either 0 or 1, okay? Either 0 or 1, ah. all right? Or either some, some of you, you can use the on or off, lah. That means if 0 is the off, 1 is the on, okay? For example, like this, eh? This is, uh, for example, like a uh, digital, okay, digital signal. Okay, so actually this is, we call the ideal digital pulse or digital signal, lah, eh? You can see this one. But when you zoom, zoom out, this signal is not like this. It's not smooth like this. They mentioned to you, we have some noise, okay? That's why this one is very, it's the ideal uh, digital signal, lah, the ideal. So very smooth, lah. you can see, right? So zero, one, very smooth, okay? Very smooth uh, waveform, right? So when you measure or you can, when you plot, okay? Or you can zoom this one, okay? Maybe you can use your uh, oscilloscope to zoom this. So it's not similar, uh, it's not smooth like this. Lah. So maybe they have the overshoot here, right? The overshoot signal here. And also we have the undershoot here. And also we have the rush time here. So this signal is not smooth like this. Lah. I will show after this, okay? This is some example of the digital signal. All right, so you can see this one. Eh? So this is an example of the digital. So maybe some of you have the digital watch, okay? Digital, a uh, lot of digital in your house, okay? Maybe uh, you have yeah, okay, uh, washing machine using the digitals, okay. So provide the time of the day in the form of the digital uh, digit, which represent hour and minutes, okay, for even second. Lah. So this is uh, some example of digital device. I think maybe you can look up, uh, look up, uh, around you. So maybe you, you can find a uh, lot of uh, digital device in your house. For example, like your phone. Okay, your phone is a digital, okay? Your watch, okay? Uh, your, maybe you can see this one, the display. The display is, this one is also in the digital, right? All right, so this is different between the 
digital and analog waveform eh? that, that I mentioned to you before this so that I draw the, the waveform before this alright so maybe you cannot hear uh, see the waveform because some problem I'm not sure why this happened alright so you can see so the analog is very smooth okay very smooth that's why we call the analog is the continuously continuously signal lah. so that's why you can see this is for example like ideal AC lah, eh? alternating current okay is the alternating current here and then this is the digital level for example this is digital signal uh, step by step eh? we, that's why this one we call the discrete that's mean we'll be moved step by step okay this one step one another step another step another step another step okay this one for uh, okay for positive uh, going pulse and then this one uh, negative going pulse for example eh? from uh, from one to zero for example eh? Okay, so step by step lah. This is different between the analog level and digital level lah. Okay, but you can see for digital represent like zero or one lah. Okay, that's why for example like uh, for digital, so normally student always um, easy to do a mistake eh, when the for the midterm test or for the final because of okay fifty percent possibility you do a wrong okay either you just write one or zero okay. Because that's why for this subject it's not very tough. Okay, you can score this subject. I think before before this, uh, the previous student, most of the student can score. But for example, this is a real example. Eh? the real okay happen lah, happen for the previous. So normally student mistake on okay for example like this one. Eh? Okay, zero 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 zero. Student put here one zero zero also. Okay, missing one zero. So the result will be. Uh, wrong okay that's why you have to make sure for sub this subject is easier to student to do a mistake okay simple mistake because it, we, you, you just deal with zero or one okay for example this one eh so zero zero for example this uh okay for digital representation is a zero 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 if you're missing one so automatically the value will be changed okay that's why make sure for example this one we have one two three four five zero here eh? we have four zero Maybe some of students do the mistake, put four, four zero. Okay, four zero, and then the value for this one will be changed. Uh, that's why you have carefully, okay, for this subject, easy to score and easy to do, uh, student do the carry mistake on the final or for the midterm test. Lah. Make sure you have double check for this one. Eh? For example, this one, we have one, two, three, four, five, six. Okay, we have six zero here. So normally, student mistake, maybe just forgot to put another one uh, zero for example just five zero so automatically this value will be wrong okay that's why uh, that I mentioned to you so this subject is uh, easier but uh, also easier to do a mistake lah. okay so this is some example you can see this one some example from analog to analog okay uh, right so this one eh so this is uh, for example like a uh, water tank okay water tank for uh, interpret the float level here okay the level of water okay level of water for example this is water okay water and then okay so the uh, the pivot here so we will detect the amount of the amount of water here and then we'll be convert into the analog okay will be the analogs and then analog this analog input will be processed okay uh, in the analog processing okay using this uh, formula lah. for example eh, this is some example they're using the uh, constant okay using the uh, this standard uh, formula v equal to ir okay ohm's law lah. for example they use the ohm's law okay and then to calculate the the current they use the uh, v over r so normally v is the constant for example 6 volt okay 12 volt okay is the constant then the vary is the r here okay that's why here will be resistor this is our resistor depends okay the uh, the value of resistor depends on the float here Okay, the float here. So the amount of water. So we, when the amount of water will be increased, the maybe the uh, the variable okay variable resistor will be increased. Then the the value of the for example the current will be re reduced. For example, eh, this is some example how uh, from analog convert into analog. Eh, the, and then also you can see this is on uh, on the analog output. Okay, in the ampere. Okay, the uh, the current here. So you just see the current lah. So maybe you can uh, use this uh, measure the current using the uh, using the digital multimeter. That means we have another one 
converter eh. we have one converter to convert from this analog output to the digital that that's why i mentioned to you we can use the uh, dac lah uh, sorry adc okay analog to digital converter that's mean from convert from analog okay analog output to the digital eh digital output okay okay so this right so you can see this one eh? all right so they mentioned to you we have another one uh, converter that we call the adc uh, converter here eh? from uh, analog output okay output we can convert into digital using this converter and then uh, so we'll be processed in the uh, digital system lah. okay so we'll be processing and then we have the storage okay for example this is storage and then will be display okay this one output will be display lah. Okay, on the digital display. For example, like uh, maybe this uh, uh, water level is maybe one meter. For example, one meter or one point five meter. For example, eh, the display here. Okay, so this is another example. Alright, you can see this one is the analog to analog. Eh, so from uh, from the original sound wave. Okay, we have. Okay, so we will capture uh, this wave from. Uh, using the microphone okay so this is audio signal in the analog okay you can see this one eh? is the audio signal analog. and then very low frequency maybe very low frequency very low signal then they use another one uh, amplifier to amplify the audio signal lah. okay from this one to this one lah. will be that's why you use the linear amplifier that means will be increase the size okay the the scale of the audio signal lah, to this one okay similar like this and then will be produced just uh, sound with uh, sound wave eh? so this one you can see all right so this is still analog eh? you can see this is analog okay and then also the output will be analog okay so this is another example lah, okay next is another example from digital to analog okay for example like we have the basic principle of the cd player okay so the cd player actually in the digital data you can see this one is data so maybe we have the uh, right similar like this one zero one one okay zero zero one 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 okay so this one we call the series data okay actually for uh, type of the data we have two type lah. we have the series and we have the parallel okay we have the parallel data or we have the series data so this one we call the series lah. for example this one will be 0 1 1 1 0 0 1 1 1 1 0 eh? and then from this digital will be convert into analog lah. okay that's why we use the digital to analog converter dac okay from we use the digital to analog converter here eh? and then we got the uh, the audio here okay the analog signal here and then we use the linear amplifier to amplify okay from this analog signal to bigger size lah okay that's why you use the linear amplifier as you can uh, refer the previous slide so we be uh, increase the size of the analog signal and then go for the sound wave lah okay so this is some example eh? some example they use the uh, converter lah to convert from uh, digital to analog or analog to digitals that's why you have to remember lah, for this subject normally we use two uh, converter lah. okay one is the digital to analog or another one is the analog to digital converter all right so this is a uh, some differential between the digital and analog waveform okay so you can see this one this is the analog waveform it's the continuous okay it's a continuous uh, it's not on this one is the ac for example like ac eh? ac continuous okay maybe we have the for example like a uh, direct current also we can declare as the analog okay maybe five volt here all right so another one maybe in the triangular okay this one is sinusoidal lah. So sinusoidal waveform maybe we also we can draw uh, uh, draw the uh, triangular okay triangular waveform okay or uh, trapezoidal waveform okay or something uh, another waveform lah for example s waveform uh, gaussian and so on okay so this is uh, for digital waveform lah you can see the different eh? so for the digital normally we uh, we have only two lah either zero or one eh? okay so you can see so for the analog system, the input and output are represent, represent, represented by continuous 
value okay that mean the keyword for the other log is the continuous signal lah, continuous signal or continuous value eh, or continuous waveform right more close to the real world signal lah, that mentioned to you memang uh, uh, for the for the world normally we deal with the analogs okay for example like frequency times okay speed we deal with the analog that's why more close okay the analog more close with uh, with, with us uh, because of uh, normally the signal okay in the analog lah and then we need the interface circuit lah, okay interface circuit to detect the analog signal lah all right so and on the digital system okay so the input and output represent as discrete value okay that means discrete is the step by step okay step by step lah as you can see before this i show the difference between the analog okay the analog signal and the digital so will be in uh, increase will be step by step eh? we have step by step that's why we call the discrete value lah. okay easier to handle and design okay more tolerable to the signal degradation of degradation and noise okay and then binary digital system form the basis all the hardware design today lah that I mentioned to you eh? so nowadays most of the hardware or more of, most of the system we use the we deal with the digitals Okay, that's why we from the analog we have to convert into digital. Okay. <coughs> okay, so this is a major difference between the analogs and digital quantities. All right, so that you can see this one, eh? Similar that I mentioned to you before. This analog is the continuous as ambiguity. All right. For the digital is the discrete. Sometimes we call it a step by step. Okay. That's only one interpre interpretation okay and then this is some advantages of the digital technique so the advantages is the digital data can be uh, processed and transmitted more efficiently and reliably than analog data and then data or music can be converted into digital form can be stored more compactly and reproduced with greater precision and accuracy lah. And then information storage is easier for further manipulation and op uh, can operation can be easy is programmed in digital system analog system can also be programmed but the variety and complexity of the available operation is severely limited lah. okay and then the digital circuit are less affected by noise okay so as long as the noise is not uh, large enough to prevent us from distinguish uh, a higher or from the lower okay and then more digital secretary can be fabricated on the ic uh, ic you can uh, declare as the integrated circuit ic is the stand for integrated circuit lah. chips okay so this is some uh, advantages for digital that you have to know lah. normally is the precision and high accuracy okay and then easy to handle or easy to do a storage okay for further manipulation okay and then uh, process and transmitted uh, data more efficiently okay and reliable compared than analogs okay and then another one is the less affected by noise lah, compared than analog so analog is a lot of noise for example if you measure the uh, measure the speed so they have a lot of noise for example noise is the maybe on the wind on the another another environmental okay environmental disturbance that will be affects the the analog signal okay compared than digital lah. Because digital will be discrete step by step, eh? the the movement will be step by step. That's why it's less affected by the noise. Okay, so that is the advantages of digital techniques. Okay, so this is a limitation of the digital techniques. Okay, so we have two uh, limitation or disadvantages of the digital. One is the analog. The world is analog. Eh, that I mentioned to you. Eh? all the okay the sensor all the uh, quantities deal with uh, analog that's why the limitation of the digit, uh, digital is the we have to convert from analog to digital it's not come from automatically to digital because of the world is analog okay and then another one is the time consuming lah. you can see this one eh? uh, so the analog nature of the, the world require the time consuming to convert okay for example Okay, for example, here you can see the block diagram here. We have the temperature. Okay, temperature is the analog. 
Okay, when we measure the analog, okay, automatically we can uh, declare this uh, the output. We can automatically okay, this is output for analog. Okay, but when you want to convert into digital, you have the process. Okay, you have the another process, another process, another process, another process. Then you can display this the temperature. Okay, the temperature here. So that's why from this point, uh, this block diagram, uh, from this uh, process to this process to this process, they take time lah. That's why the another advantage is the time consuming. Compare then if you use the analog and then the output, you can get the analog will be very fast lah. Compare that from the analog, okay, temperature, you can uh, measure the uh, temperature, get the analog, and then you have to convert into digital, and then you have to digital the output here in the digital processing, and then go for the digital to analog converter, and then go for controller, then you can display, like, for example, you want to display the, uh, the, the temperature here. So you can see the process here will be take time, like, okay, for every, every process. So that's why another advantage, uh, disadvantage of the digital is the time consuming. Okay, we have two limitation of the digital. Lah. One is the analog. Okay, another one is the time consuming. Lah. Okay, so this is some. Uh, okay, some uh, different between the analog and digital device. Okay, you can see. I think some of you have the maybe analog watch. Okay, maybe some of you have the digital watch. Okay, for example, you can see the boss. Eh? Uh, depends on huh? some of you, uh, maybe you can prefer to use the analog. Uh, maybe some of you prefer to use the digitals. Okay, so for example, my watch, I use the boss. Huh? So uh, I also have the analog and also in my watch has also have the digital. So you can, you can compare lah, analog and digitals. Alright, so next we go for the digital IC and analog IC. Okay, for digital IC is to produce components such as a microprocessor, okay, FPGA, memories. Okay, so this is uh, inside the uh, inside the computer. Eh? So we have the microprocessor, okay, FPGA, memories, RAM, ROM, flash, and digital IC. Okay, so this is focused on uh, logical correct, uh, correctness, maximize circuit density and pacing circuit so that the clock and the timing signal are routed differently. Okay, and then for the AC, analog AC design, it used to design the OM. Okay, OM is the operational amplifier, linear regulator and phase locket lock, uh, loops and oscillator. Okay, and oscillators. Okay, concern with the physics of the semiconductor device such as a gain, matching, power dissipation and resistance. Okay, that is the difference between the digital IC and analog IC lah. Okay, so for example, for digital, normally the components such as a microprocessor, okay, the RAM, ROM, and for example, for analog, normally we use the uh, operational amplifier, okay, OMs, linear reg uh, regulator, and oscillator. Eh. Alright, so this is for digital IC. You can see the Digital IC is a collection of resistor, diode, and transistor fabricated on a single piece of semiconductor material called chips. Okay, so this is category of the chips. So we have five level of the circuit complexity. Okay, so normally in our class we focus until uh, medium, eh? medium scale integration. That means uh, our component from 12 to 99 gates. Okay, for small scale, okay, small scale integration less than 12 gate lah. okay then 12 gate if large okay large scale integration uh, until 999 gates okay so for example the gate and i'm not sure maybe you remember so we have the for example the gate we have the n gate we have the o gate i i hope you remember eh, uh, for the this gate so we have the o gate we have the nan gate we have the no gate and so on or we have the not gate okay that's another example. Lah. So this is combination of the gates. Okay, that's mean if less than 12, we call the small scale integration. If from 12 to 99, we call the medium scale integration. Lah. So our topic will be cover our syllabus. We 
cover until medium skill integration lah. That mean from 12 to 99 gates lah. Maybe around, maybe around 20 or 15 eh, gates. And then you can see for very large, okay, uh, skill integration, okay, un until 9,000 9, eh, something. And then more than, okay, for ultra large, okay, is the more than 100, okay, uh, 100,000 eh, 100, gates. Okay, this is the different, eh, the different level of circuit capacity. So that means to you, in our syllabus, we just cover until the medium skill, okay, medium skill integration. Okay, that means our component may be around, uh, maximum is, okay, less than 99 gates. Okay, so this is a binary digit. Okay, so that's, that's what I mentioned to you. So the binary means zero or one, eh? we have two. Binary is a two. This means digit zero or digit one. Eh? Alright, so the two digit in the binary system that we can declare as the one or zero lah. And then one or zero we can call a bit, okay, this one eh. So this one we have one bit, two bit, three bit, four bit and so on, okay. So this one, the digit is a uh, one of the digit, okay. And then the bit is individual lah. For example, this is a uh, one bit, two bit, okay. So we have two bit here, three bit and so on. Okay, and then two different voltage uh, level are used to represent the two bit value. Lah. Okay, at the uh, one, okay, represent as the higher voltage level. Okay, and then zero to represent the lower voltage level. Lah. Okay, for example, eh, that we call the positive uh, level or positive uh, negative logic. Okay, and then for the uh, value one is represented by the lower voltage, okay, low voltage high, and then zero is the higher voltage uh, level, low is we call the negative logic. Lah. So this one you can see the, the figure here. Eh? So maybe you can clear here. All right, so this one, eh? So this one we call the logic level. Okay, actually the this one to represent the voltage lah, to represent the higher voltage or the lower voltage. Lah. Okay, for example, to represent the one and zero equal to this logic level lah. Okay, you can see this one eh? From low voltage uh, height for low to height maximum will be we declare as the higher height is one, and then for the low max to the low uh, voltage low low. Okay, so declare as the low equal to zero lah. Okay, this one will be we call the uncertainty lah. Okay, will be ignore here. Okay, this one will be ignore eh? Normally, we just focus on this one and this part lah. Okay, this one we call the logic level lah, logic levels. Alright, so this is a digital waveform. Alright, some, you can see this one eh, we call the digital waveform. Uh, so, the digital waveform is the output uh, from the digital secretary. So, this is output from our digital eh. For example, we have the uh, 0, 0, 1, 0, 1, okay, 0, 1, 1, 0, 0, okay, this is the waveform lah, okay, the waveform, for example, this one 0, and then this one 0, this one 1, okay, so this is the digital waveform, this, this one we call the digital waveform lah, okay, this is the binary code, okay, this is binary code, and then this is the digital waveform, very simple, okay, very simple, so this, for example, this is output for digital in the binary, and then this is the waveform okay so the waveform based on this uh binary code lah. for example zero here so this one will be zero this one zero this one pun also zero and then this one one this one one eh? all right so this is uh called the digital waveform okay some digital waveform we can uh, draw like this okay in the series for example this binary code in the series another one that I mentioned to you is the parallel also in the parallels for example we have the okay zero Okay, uh, waveform number one is zero, waveform number two is zero, waveform number three is one, okay, waveform number four will be zero, waveform number uh, five will be one, zero, one, one, okay. So that is in the uh, parallel, okay. This one in the series, okay. For example, we have the binary code here, okay. So will be continuously, lah. that's why it is in the series, okay. The, out the output will be zero, zero, one, zero. Another one in the parallel, lah. so for example, I just take this example, this means here we have uh, zero, okay, input one zero, you just draw the zero waveform here, and then another one zero, okay, next is the one, okay, just 
draw the waveform lah. The waveform for one, okay, zero, one, and so on. Okay, that is the difference between the series, okay, series uh, output and the uh, parallel output lah for the waveform. <coughs> okay. Okay, for the pulse, we have two H, okay, that you have to remember lah. Okay, we have positive going pulse and another one negative going pulse. Okay, for the positive going pulse, you have to remember from zero to one. Okay, that is what we call the positive going pulse. Eh? That's mean here from zero to one or from low to high. Eh? You can see this one. Eh? This one we call the positive going pulse. And then for the negative going pulse from the high to the low. That means from one to the zero. Okay, this one. Eh? This one we call the negative going pass. Okay, this one positive going pass. You can see this one eh? from zero to one. We call the positive going pass. Okay, this is very important when you are do that. Okay, because of our digital is uh, based on the clock. Okay, based on the uh, clock. Okay, so depends on your design. So you have to remember. So when your design, you refer to the positive going pass or you have to refer to the negative going pass depending on your design. Eh? So that's why you have to remember this one. Eh? For positive going pass, this means from zero to one. Okay, this is uh, we call the positive going pass. For the negative going pass, is uh, from high to low. This means from one to zero lah. This one eh? Okay, similar like this one eh? Okay, you can see eh, the negative from high to low lah, from one to zero. This one we call the negative going pass. Okay, and then this one from low to high is the positive. Okay, this one is a positive. Some, some of the book, they refer to the rising or trailing edge for the positive, for the negative will be falling or leading edge, okay? Normally for our class, we use the positive going pass or negative going pass, eh? Uh, depends on the reference book lah. So normally for our class, we just use the positive or negative, okay? You have to remember, if positive, that means from the, the, you have to refer from zero to one, okay? That means from low to high, that's we call the positive going pass. If Negative going pass from high to low. Okay, to low. That's mean from one to zero. Similar like this one, eh? From one to zero. Okay, that is the pulse. Lah. Okay, let me show you. This is the, you can see this one is the ideal pulse. Okay, this is ideal pulse. Very smooth. You can see, eh? very smooth. Very nice uh, pulse. Okay, but in real time, it's not like this. Okay, it's not like this. Okay, I will show you the real, okay, the real pulse lah, actually. Right, so this is the ideal, eh? let me show you the idea very smooth, you can see very smooth, okay, zero, zero, 001 here, okay, very smooth uh, ideal pulse here, you can see this one, eh? for example, okay, for example this one, right, so this is zero, and then this we call the positive going pulse, this one is the negative going pulse, and then go here, so this is positive, and then this is negative going pulse, and go here, so this is a uh, positive, Okay, this is negative going pass and so on. Okay, that's why you have to make sure. Okay, because of when we design this uh, digital, we have to know. We have to follow on the positive going pass or we have to follow on the negative going pass. Depend on your uh, digital system, on the digital circuits. Okay. So, but you can see this one is the ideal. Uh, the ideal, the ideal pass. So, very smooth uh, waveform here. But in reality, it's not like this. Okay. So in reality like this, okay, you can see this one, eh? this is non-ideal pulse, okay? But when you, maybe, uh, if, for example, I'm not sure, so you have a lab, suppose on this, I'm not sure, this master you have the lab, suppose you have a lab, so on this lab, you have to uh, use the oscilloscope, okay, to oscilloscope to measure the pulse. If you zoom the, zoom using your oscilloscope, maybe you can, you can see like this. Or uh, sometimes we have the overshoot here. Okay, some overshoot here and this one undershoot here. All right. So this is we call the non-ideal pulse. Okay, normally in real time, similar like this. Okay, so that's why we have the rise time here. Okay, the rise time you have to remember is calculate from 10% to 90%. Okay, that means that this is we call the rise time. From you have to calculate from 10% from the set point. Okay, this is set point. Okay, for example, like our set point is one. So 10% that's mean from 0 0.1 lah, yeah, 0 0.1, okay, 10% and then 90% uh, is uh, 0 0.9 for example eh, 
90.9 and then you have to calculate the time here this one the time from 10 percent to 90 percent we call the rise time okay and then the falling time okay the falling time similar okay but from 90 percent to 10 percent ah. okay that's mean from um, time from the 0 0.9 to 0 0.1 okay this mean eh? 0 0.9 to 0 0.1 here so you have to measure the time here so this one we call the falling time okay falling time here and then for the pulse width the pulse width we have to measure from 50 percent that's mean from 0 0.5 here eh? so 50 percent yeah 0 0.5 okay to 50 percent uh, to the uh, falling time okay from from the end from the negative coin pass this is positive coin pass eh? 50 percent okay this is we call the pass width okay but if you refer to the ideal okay the ideal is the okay the falling time is the very fast eh? because no uh, because very straight eh? so the uh, the falling the rush time and falling time is the very smooth eh? okay Com and then the pass width will be from this point to this point okay because of this this idea is the uh, this pulse is the ideal so you can cannot see the the slope here but when you are zoom out this pulse so will be like this okay that's why this is the non-ideal pulse lah. okay to measure the the pulse here pulse width here this yeah eh? this is formula that you have to remember lah. okay for example to measure the rise time that's mean from zero sorry so from 10 percent to 90% uh, of the set point, okay, for example, our set point will be 1 here, okay, 1, eh, so that's why 90% may be 0 0.9, and then 10% will be 0 0.1, okay, 0 0.1, okay, here, maybe you can write here, okay, and then to the 0 0.9, then measure the time here, so when you measure the time, so this one we call the rise time, and then similar like for the falling time, lah. similar like 90% to the 10%, okay, 10%. From the set point, uh, set point is one, so from 0 0.9 to 0 0.1. Uh, that's this one we call the falling time, and then from 50% to the set point to 60% for set point here for the negative going pause will be pause width. Uh. Okay, that the the parameter that you have to remember, eh? you have to remember the rush time, the falling time, and how to measure the pause width. Okay, <coughs> okay, so another non-idea pulse okay some of the when you zoom out some of the pulse will be like this we have the overshoot here okay it's not uh, it's not ideal like a uh, triangular uh, like a uh, trapezoidal eh? smooth trapezoidal no normally in the real real time so we have the maybe we have the overshoot here okay and also maybe we have undershoot here or we some uh, some of the uh, I, uh, pass maybe we have the ringing okay we have the ringing here sometimes we call the ripple okay we have the ripple here very small ripple here okay and also we have the ripple here or ringing lah. so that's why this one is the non-ideal pass lah. it's not like smooth like the ideal pass okay for real time or for reality this is uh, the the non-ideal pass lah. we have the overshoot okay we have the undershoot we have the ripples okay we have the ringing here okay that's why this uh, performance, eh, the performance of the parameter, you, you can uh, study on the control subject lah, because uh, when you design the controller, so you can uh, eliminate this overshoot, for example, eh, you can eliminate this overshoot or you can eliminate this undershoot and also we can eliminate this uh, ripple or this ringing here, okay? All right, so this is a, uh, waveform characteristics okay so we have two type of the waveform characteristic is the periodic waveform okay and then non periodic waveform okay right the periodic waveform is the repeat over the fit intervals so it's like this okay so it's, this one is like the is like the clocks okay the clocks that's mean 0 1 0 uh, 1 0 1 0 1 0 okay will be repeat okay will be uh, repeat over the fit interval or sometimes maybe this also we can call uh, predict for example like one one zero zero one one zero zero one one zero zero is the repeat over the fixed interval or for example like this one will be one 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 okay this one zero 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 one 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 zero 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 and then also we can call the periodic waveform because of the repeat over the fixed interval the interval will be fixed 
Okay, the non-periodic waveform, you can see this one, eh? for example, here we have the 0, 1, 0, 1, 1, 0, 0, 1, 0, 1, 0, and so on. So this is not, uh, not repeat, okay, not repeat, and not a uh, fixed interval, it's not fixed interval. That's why we call the non-periodic waveform, lah. okay. Normally, is this is our clock, okay, and then this is our output, lah, digital output. Normally, digital output will be non periodic and our clock will be on the periodic waveform. Okay, this one will be uh, repeat over the fixed interval. So, you can see the interval, eh, the pause, the, the period is the same. Okay, this one, eh, T here, T here will be same. Compare this one. Okay, this one. Okay, this one. And then this one will be different T. Okay, this one. Okay, different T. And then different T. So, that's why we call the non periodic waveform. Compare then, periodic waveform will be T will be same. Lah. Okay, the period uh, will be same. Okay, and then this is formula to calculate the uh, the period. Eh? So normally you can, so from complete one cycle. Eh? So period is the, actually is a complete one cycle. Okay, that means one cycle is 360, 360 degrees. Lah. For example, for this declare as the zero. You can see this is 150, 180 and this one is another 100. Okay, 180. So total will be, uh, 360 that's why the period is the one complete cycle that, that you have to remember eh? for period is the one complete cycle the okay, one complete cycle if i can draw here okay for example if we have the uh, un, uh sinusoidal okay sinusoidal uh sinusoidal waveform okay that's mean we'll compete from this point to this point eh? that's mean uh, uh 180 for the positive and another 180 for the negative uh, symbol here okay so total will be 360 okay that's we call one period okay to calculate the frequency uh, period so we can use the this formula lah. okay for example to calculate the frequency 1 over t and then to calculate the period 1 over f okay 1 over f so this one is the hertz uh, upper frequency in the hertz and then is the second lah. so this is uh, standard i think uh, you have to remember this is a basic formula lah. basic formula to calculate the period and then this is from this one also you can change lah to calculate the frequency or the period lah. so maybe same formula maybe just remember only this one eh? okay maybe on this one so to calculate the frequency one over t and then to calculate the t one over f this is a basic uh, basic formula uh, that you have to remember uh, this one uh, you have to remember because this is basic uh, basic formula okay for the duty cycle next uh, characteristic is the duty cycle uh. okay for duty cycle of the waveform is defined as the ratio of the pulse width okay to the period uh, and is expressed as the percentage okay so this is a duty cycle okay duty cycle all right, and then divide by uh, period, okay, multiply by 100%, okay, 100% lah because of uh, duty cycle in the percentage lah. So this is formula that you have, another formula that you have to remember lah, eh, for, uh, for the calculate the duty cycle lah. Right, so next we go for the timing diagram. Right, so in digital system, all waveforms are synchronized with the basic timing waveform uh, called as uh, called the clock. Okay, that I mentioned to you. Eh? This one is the clock. Okay, the clock is the periodic waveform. Eh? You can see the periodic. Okay, will be uh, repeat over the fixed interval. Eh? That's why I call it, this is a periodic waveform. And then you can see this one is the uh, non-periodic waveform lah. For the output is non-periodic waveform. And then for the clock, normally is the periodic waveform lah because of the fixed interval. Eh? You can see eh? it's the fixed interval compared to this one. Okay, this one is same, but this one not same lah. Okay, will be difference. Okay, that's why this one is to be called the non-periodic waveform lah. Okay, that when you refer, when we design the, uh, the digital system, when we uh, refer to this waveform, the clock, so you can see eh? So based on our digital, so for example, this one, eh, you can write like this. That means this digital circuit, they refer to the negative coin pulse. Okay, you can see, eh, negative coin pulse here. All right, this one refer to the negative coin pulse. This one coin pulse. If positive coin pulse, okay, for example, our, uh, we have the 
digital chips normally they have the bubble i will show this is we will cover for the next next chapter lah. i think chapter number four all right so if positive coin pass so we'll be like this we'll be start here okay we'll be start here and then we'll be start here we'll be start here okay for the trigger for the output okay we'll be start based on the either for the positive coin pass or negative coin pass okay for example this one you can see this this example it start from the negative coin pass okay that means the output here will be triggered at the negative okay negative coin pass here so from one to zero eh? one to zero is the negative coin pass that I mentioned to you so if we are start here okay we start from the positive that means here will be start one okay on the positive and then until we go next positive here so it will be one and then next will be zero uh, next will be one for example next will be zero next will be one okay start depends okay for example this one is the system is start from the negative it's uh, negative it going past lah. negative going past that means start from zero uh, from one to zero eh this one eh can, can see one to zero one to zero one to zero okay can see eh that's why it is a uh, fixed table lah. okay if we have another output but the output will be start on the positive maybe uh, maybe like this lah. okay one okay until this one will be zero okay until this one will be one okay until this one will be zero one and so on okay that is for uh, positive going pause lah. okay this one is an example or it's a negative going pause eh? okay so the difference between the clock and the output is the this clock will be uh, periodic waveform and then for the output will be non periodic waveform lah. okay because of it's not it's, it's not a fixed interval eh? this one is fixed until this one is not fixed lah. that's why we call the non periodic waveform this one is the fixed interval so this one we call the periodic waveform for the clock eh? all right so that's all for today okay uh, already finished for uh, chapter one for topic uh, topic uh, introduction uh, introduction for the digitals okay uh, so far any question so okay class so far okay okay sir, okay all right so actually after this you can uh, you can download eh? download the notes all the slide okay and then maybe you can read first then if you have any question you can ask uh, in, in my class lah. right okay so that's all for today so we are already finished for topic number one okay chapter number one part one so tomorrow we don't have the class because it's still early okay right class eh? we, tomorrow is no class so after we go for the for example we go for the tutorial uh, maybe on the topic one chapter one topic uh, for the numbers numbering system so maybe we have the tutorial so we have a class on the friday right so this week's i think is uh, the first week so no need to do a class for the tomorrow okay eh? so tomorrow no class for the uh, friday class so no tomorrow but uh, next week will be same uh, on the thursday and depends uh, if you are, are finished cover for the chapter one so we go for the tutorial uh. so normally tutorial i will do on the friday on the every friday lah. so the thursday i will focus on the lecture and then for the friday i will focus on the on the tutorial okay for the example uh, for example lah, i think maybe for on the friday we just focus on the example any examples okay or focus on the tutorials okay if you have any question all right okay okay guys can okay tomorrow no class eh Okay, sir. Okay, sir.